Troy Casey, Certified Health Knot, and we're here in Newport Beach today. Uh, I came down to see uh, Dr. Goswami because I'm very interested in stem cells, stem cell research, stem cell therapy. It's very cutting edge natural therapy, uh, and Dr. Goswami is an expert at it. And so he examined me. Uh, we were going to go through an examination to see if it was applicable for me to do some IV or any of this stuff could apply to my own injuries and he found uh, a varicose vein and uh, he told me how common these things are and also how potentially detrimental. So doctor, could you please tell them uh, what you found right. in my body? So varicose vein um, is you know, generally thought of as a cosmetic condition, especially in men because we notice this little bumps or veins coming up and we're not as um, alarmed as women tend to be um, because it's it's obviously something that shows up on the skin. However, it is also related to pooling of blood. When a vein gets stretched out in the leg, what's happening is that the blood that was supposed to go back to heart and lungs for oxygenation is actually staying in the vein in the leg. And the longer it stays, the poor oxygen content then starts causing symptoms such as heaviness, leg pain, swelling, skin discoloration. So I was just telling Troy how this could be impacting the rest of his body and even the whole cardiovascular system because that pooled blood is robbing the rest of the body of circulatory volume of blood. So it's, it's, it's has, it ties into a bigger picture. And this, and, is, and this is what I was telling him. I had some symptomology of autoimmune, low energy fatigue, Ever since I was exposed to black mold and my kids came, I mean, I was just zapped with energy and it's right. been my last few years yeah. process of trying to re-up it. And luckily he spotted that. And so tell us, you, you developed a procedure that- Yeah, we did a lot of work on it at the University of Washington when I was up there with you know Dr. Andrews and uh, this was a new procedure. Um, we started off on the East Coast um, also with a few of the authors there. And um, it has really, what used to happen before was that the treatment was very complicated in the sense it involved vein stripping surgery. And you know, there's still, if you talk to your grandparents, there's a good chance one of them probably had surgery, but the recovery from that surgery was really- Just Rip horrendous. that vein out. <laughs> right. So what, what, uh, what we were able to do was basically try to eliminate this vein in the leg itself. So the abnormal vein is treated um, so that it shrinks and gets absorbed in the leg itself rather than getting pulled out. Because once the vein is abnormal, it's not going to get back to functioning as a normal vein. But instead of physically removing it, if we could just remove it as a channel, shrink it down in the leg, and that's what we do with these treatments. Awesome, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'll keep you guys posted on it. and. Uh, Thank you, Dr. Kaswami. And we're gonna be finding out more about stem cells because we've got a long-term relationship happening here with a good doctor. So Thank you. stay tuned.